back to the busy van and everyone Chris here again today we're going to be looking after a very good buddy of mine here he is Mr. Two and a Half Pound Beaver Axe my dad gave me this axe when I was a teenager I've hung on to it, looked after it, surprised I haven't lost it if I did I'd cry I think this is the best axe I've ever put in my hands and I gotta tell you you can't beat a good axe. So there we go. New axe handle for Mr. Beaver. And of course, every good axe handle starts out with a good piece of wood. This is a wood chisel or yellow birch. All right, so let's get at it. Cut out this axe handle. Let's take that spoke shave. We gotta smoothen out that shape. And round over both sides. All right, I'll finish. Uh, I'll finish shaping this out now, and then we'll move on to the sanding. All right, so there it is. We uh, we got a rough shape of that axe handle. I mean, rough. It's nice and comfortable. I like it a bit beefy here on the end of the shank for, for holding on to. Narrows, tapers, and curves. And this end here has to be cut to the shape of the hole in the bowl of your axe. So now we're going to move on to the sanding. And uh, that's not that difficult either. I'll show you a good trick. Okay, for some one. strip sandpaper. Handles clamped in vice. Take the sandpaper. And there you go. And it doesn't take All right, very so long. I'll finish sanding this now, and uh, we'll move on to shaving it for the axe. All right, so I just went ahead and took the axe and traced out the shape that I'm going to need. I gotta cut a fair bit away here. That's because I want to leave as much of the trope close to the blade and this side of the axe as possible. This way it hits a lot. So the more material that you got there, <laughs> longer you get out of your axe handle. So we'll just go ahead now and take the spoke shave and shape that down to that size. And then we'll fit it in that axe. So there we have it. That's our uh, new axe handle. I'm going to show you a couple little tricks now to take care of your handle. I like to paint the butt in red for visibility and oil the shank with oil. And uh, once it's fixed into the head of the axe, we'll also soak this for a couple days in a tub of oil. That stops the wood from drying out and the axe from becoming loose. Alright, so I'll look at paint on it. You'll have a look. Alright, so there you go everyone. I got uh, a bit of paint sprayed on this one. And what do you know, huh? Looks just like an axe handle you buy at the store. Only better. Alright. As always guys, Take it easy.